It is a lovely, lovely morning. Friday morning here at Yankee Beef. And before I started everything up this morning, I wanted to give you a real life tour of the ingredients that go in our batches. So this is what's called, everybody has a different name for it, ear ledge, snap ledge, high moisture ear ledge, cob ledge. Either way, it's the idea of putting a combine head on the front of a forage harvester or chopper uh, and taking just the ear grinding it up super fine. I turn my, I have a shred ledge processor and I tighten it down as tight as she'll go and I grind this stuff up. And uh, that's what our feeders are on. That's what our fat steers will be finished on. We try to run it. This will be our first year running it all year. Uh, we used to struggle a little bit with it in the summertime getting hot um, and trying to re-ferment and mold. I think we have enough cattle now um on it that will be okay but i do have 50 ton of uh corn stored at the local feed mill and that is uh gonna be there in case this gets a little warm we can hold it off till fall this pile here is our haylage uh you can see it's ground up hay uh, this is a pretty low protein uh hay here it's my first cutting pile so the cows are on this while they're not having any calves on them um they have a baby in them but they're not they're not producing any milk they don't need a lot of protein uh we feed a lot of corn silage this time of year and actually we're feeding a little bit of straw we're trying to condition them for their for calving here corn silage beautiful corn silage smells amazing probably the nicest corn silage we've put up this is distillers that is a byproduct of making ethanol from corn this pile here will be really steamy and moly so that's what i pitch off the tops of the bunks okay so like joe said he in this video is pitching rotten off of the top You'll see in these piles, there's about six inches or so of crust. Um, it kind of forms a cap on that pile and allows the rest of the feed to ferment. Um, but we have to pitch the crust off the top because it has mold in it. Mold will cause the cows to abort their pregnancies. Um, so he's going to get rid of all of that mold and any of that rotten feed um, before he scoops it up and puts it in the mixer wagon. So what we're doing here is to face in the front of this silage bunk. And the reason we do that is so we keep a nice flat level face. Number one. Number two, we are mixing up all of the feed. So as we put feed in here in the summertime, we might find a wet load or a dry load next to a hedgerow or what have you. And there might be a wet spot. So when I do this, Basically, I bring the whole face of the pile down to the bottom and it mixes all together. This is my corn silage pile. Same situation here. Gotta shave, shave the front down. Corn's actually the nicest to, to deface. You can see, look at that beautiful face on there. So this is my high moisture ear ledge. Like I said before, I actually run this defacer backwards and bring it up from the bottom very slowly and take off just what I need to feed for the day. And I feed cows, you know, it's, I'm the only one who feeds cows here, so I know just about what it takes me. I gotta move this, I gotta move the defacer in about six inches. So it's a 1970 Massey Ferguson 1100, it's about 90 horse, uh, great tractor, it's been, it's been awesome, I've had it for three years. Uh, the mixer wagon, uh, steps are broke, but uh, that's a Treeley 1200 solo mix, 375 cubic foot.
Okay, so this is where it all comes together. Joe's going to scoop different amounts of all the various feeds into the mixer wagon. It's going to act like a giant KitchenAid mixer and grind those feeds all together. Every pen of cattle gets something different, so our cows eat something different than the steers. Uh, so there's scales underneath the mixer wagon, so he knows exactly how many pounds he's putting in of each ingredient per our nutritionist's recommendation. Here's the scales I was telling you about. Um, this is supposed to be a 5,800 pound batch of feed. Typically the scale head points at Joe so he can see what he's doing, but for this instance, for demonstration purposes, he just kind of had to wing it. So our strategy when we feed cows is to have them run out of feed just about an hour before we're gonna mix up the next load of feed. Um, and that, Joe calls that having them lick the bunk clean so that we can minimize the amount of waste. So this group here is our mama cows. Uh, that's the bunk lick clean. So about 6 a.m. they'll have that bunk lick like that. And I'll be out here feeding at 7.30 by the time they get their first loads. So this is our heifer group, replacement heifers. And as you can see, they got a little bit of feed in front of them already. Um, so it, this will be kind of neat as you guys subscribe to our channel. You'll actually watch these guys grow up and uh, get bred this summer. But the feed that's in front of them, go down here, is feed from this group. Here's our fat steers, or steers that'll be finished. So I take whatever these guys don't eat and give it to the heifer group because the heifers really don't need to be on any kind of a fattening ration, but they are getting a little bit extra getting that feed from these guys. Okay, so the bunks are licked clean. Rotten has been pitched. The feed piles are defaced. The feed has been loaded into the mixer wagon and it's been mixing, so now breakfast is served. Here comes breakfast. So our mixer wagon can offload feed on either side of the tractor and mixes in the tub and then it kind of falls through a chute onto the conveyor belt, which runs either way to offload on either side. Obviously, the ladies are very excited for their breakfast. Um, the goal with feeding uh, out of a mixer wagon, we call it a TMR, which is a total mixed ration, is to have every bite of feed be consistent and uniform for the cows. So not having one bite necessarily be better than the other, uh, but the consistency and the uniformity of it all. So if you have questions, let us know. We'd love to chat with you. And otherwise, we'll see you next time. I just finished up for the day. Cows are fed. Hope you're following along. Hope you like what we're doing. Thank you.